The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. It was a winter night in the neighborhood of Beis Yisrael in Yerushalayim. The streets were packed when a sadistic Arab terrorist dressed as a Haredi boarded a bus with a backpack with over 35 kilo of explosives and detonated his backpack. There was a flash of fire, an explosion, and by the time the dust had settled, ten Yiddish and Hashemis were killed, amongst them six children, and over 60 people were seriously injured. On that bus was a young mother, a woman by the name of Mrs. Levy, and she was holding her six-month-old son, Shimon. At the moment of the explosion, Shimon was thrust from his mother's arms, and he flew the distance of over 50 meters and landed beneath a car. The incredible volunteer, and Zaka volunteer, Benzian Eyring, dashed to the scene of the explosion to try to see how he could help, and miraculously, he saw a little baby jutting out from underneath the car. He grabbed the baby, and he saved Shimon Levy's life. Fast forward, just two weeks ago, it was Shabbos in the neighborhood of Ramat Eshkol, and a yeshiva bacher by the name of Elio Dahan was taking a walk, when this time a sadistic terrorist snuck up behind him and stabbed him in the back. He fell to the ground, unable to move, crying out for help, but he was all by himself. Miraculously, a young Yershami was walking by, and he came across the fellow lying there in a pool of blood with a knife jutting out of his back. He administered the appropriate care, and he called for help. He stayed with him for over ten minutes, being him until the help came and he saved his life. Who was that Yerushalmi young man that saved him? Miraculously, it was none other than Shimon Levi, that baby that had been saved miraculously 20 years earlier on that fateful Matzai Shabbos. Incredible, amazing. What's even more incredible is that Shimon Levi went to the hospital to visit Elio Dahan, and the two of them were reunited, as you see in the picture over here. If you think about a Baruch Hashkacha Pratis, amongst the darkness, amongst the carnage, amongst the death and devastation, it's incredible. A baby's thrown 50 meters, and he survives. That alone is a miracle. The fact that he was found before fire spread in the entire neighborhood, alone is a miracle. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu had a plan in saving that baby, because you see, 20 years later, a fellow would be walking in Ramad Hashkol, Yeshiva Baruch would be walking in Ramad Hashkol, an Arab would stab him, and probably he would have died, if not for the fact that that baby had been saved 20 years earlier. Ki Yisharim Darche Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch Hu has a plan. We don't always see it, we don't always know it, we don't always understand it. Sometimes it could take two decades, but we see HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Hashkacha practice in the Bria. Let's take a few moments and look at our own lives, and look at the world that we're part of, maybe look at the rearview mirror of life, and try to see Hashem's hand in our lives. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.